it's authentic or cheap knockoff? The seller said it's not from the original movie. However, he believes it's an original mold casting. And from the original casting is what we'd like to see as opposed to, you know, somebody who's just done a knockoff. And these were all done in England when the film was originally made. Uh, a fellow by the name of Andrew Ainsworth. He had the equipment they needed in order to make a costume like this. They actually take a mold and then sheets of plastic would be laid on that. They called it vacuum press because it simply works that way. It literally sucks the plastic into the mold to form the costume. Okay. And in looking at the helmet, and looking at the cutout of the lenses, the depth of the lenses, the hard corners, the ridges, the thickness of the plastic, all of this is telling me that this particular costume was in fact cast from the original molds that were used to make the Star Wars Stormtrooper costumes. Ah, nice. It would be very difficult to replicate all of the specifics that you would need in the vacuum pressing process to get that costume to have all of the shapes and angles that this one does. Then we have to move all the way to the bottom. You'll notice we've got a phenomenal pair of white shoes. Man, these are the Travolta specials. But they were really not part of what was made with the costume. They were part of wardrobe for the studio. So the fact that they're not here really doesn't detract from this at all. Okay, so Michael, what can I expect to get for it in option? We've got an original costume, post-production, not used in the film, but made from the original castings. Sounding good. In excellent overall condition. Overall, when we look at this piece, I think it'll bring in about $900 in auction. Sweet. <laughs> definitely make the seller happy, but the question is, do we have enough diehard Star Wars fans here in Atlanta? May the force be with you. <laughs> I need that. Not kind. Well, you take care.